Shows about getting in the minds of murderous criminals and serial killers have been a massive success. Making a murderer, evil genius, tidying up with Marie Kondo. What is clean enough, Marie? Clean enough to scrub DNA evidence from a crime scene? I'm on to you. It's no surprise that for the 30th anniversary of Ted Bundy's execution, the Bundy tapes on Netflix have been at the top of everyone's queue. Or list, whatever you fucking call it. Bundy tapes feature interviews with childhood friends with potential reasons Bundy became a serial killer. One testimony stated that he liked to scare people as a kid, and apparently that's a big sign someone's a serial killer. There's three types of people that work at a haunted house. You got stoner burnouts, you got weird carny folk, and then you have that guy that picks you out and likes to follow you around because he gets pure joy out of scaring you. That guy's a serial killer. 100% of the time, serial killer. See if it sparks joy in you. Again, I'm on to you, Marie. It's incredible that people didn't see the signs that Bundy was a sociopath. Uh, big red flag. He defended himself for murder after one semester at a law school called Puget Sound. That school sounds like the name they gave to the last gas that escapes from your body right before you die. Also, the mascot, Grizz, looks 100% like a serial killer. Very fitting. The signs are all there. The most outrageous fact not talked about in the documentary is Ted Bundy worked for a suicide hotline. A man responsible for the deaths of 30 plus people tried to save people's lives. Did the sadness of working here make him hit rock bottom? Or was the pain of people calling in like a phone sex hotline for his sick, twisted mind, only making him hornier and hornier for sadistic murder? More docs and movies on this detestable serial killer are on the way. For $9 million, Netflix just purchased extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile, a movie about Ted Bundy, starring Zac Efron, and people are not happy. Who else are you gonna get to cast this movie? Christian Bale? He's already played the character once in American Psycho. Plus, even though he's a magician with weight loss, he's still way too fat from Vice. Johnny Depp? He's versatile, but I think he's probably actually killed 30 plus people, so might wanna lay low. The only other person that definitely should have had consideration is Greg Kinnear. Greg Kinnear is a spitting image of Ted Bundy. Does no one else see this? Am I alone? At the end of the day, who can you cast? No one is vile enough to match up with Ted Bundy. Why not give Zac Efron a chance? He's clearly capable of murder. He did kill what was left of the Baywatch franchise. R.I.P. I'm Vibs of Barstool Sports, and these are the sad, gruesome things you missed.